Hi everyone, this is Jaron Sander at Pythagorean Labs. Today we're going to look at um, how we can use Butler's REST API to start sense reload tasks, uh, either by calling uh, the, the REST API exposed by Butler or by sending MQTT messages that Butler then listens to. Um, let's start off with the REST option. And uh, to the left, here on the screen, upper left, we have a REST client called PAW. We're running this on uh, Mac OS, and uh, it's a very, very good REST client. Highly recommended. It does cost a bit of money, but very, very good. Um, there are also options like Postman, and that are this cross-platform option, and many others. You could even do this on the command line if you have curl installed. Um, here is the command that would kick off a reload in the Butler API. We'll come back to this in a bit. And to the right here, we have the Butler command line. It's not running yet. We'll start it shortly. And at the bottom is a QMC, and we have a task here called manually triggered reload of app one. And even a small emoji, emoji um, down there. Which is kind of cool that you can use those also in um, task names. So the idea here is that we're going to start the reload task from PAW using the REST API exposed by Butler. We're going to see the results down here uh, in the QMC. And then we'll do the same but using MQTT messages. So let's start Butler. Okay, it's running. It's version 5.0, and um, that looks good. And to the left here, then, we have um, a REST call going to, using, using the curl syntax here, um, we have a REST call going to 192, 168, 1, 168, port 8080. And then this path that will um, start a task. So let's do it. Let's start this task and see what happens. And immediately we saw that Butler got the call and um, it logged something in the um, in the log files. If we now refresh the QMC, the bottom, it's now at 1026. That was the last execution. Let's see what happens if we refresh. 1047, which is a few seconds ago, and that was the server timestamp when the call was made. And the uh, app reload was a success. It was a very quick one. It only took a few seconds, uh, one or two seconds. That particular app is empty. It doesn't do anything. It's just there as a placeholder. Um, that works very well. So what happens if we take this? Actually, let's do a bonus thing here. Let's take this curl command, copy it with clipboard. Go to the command line and paste it in like that. Might be a bit small, but I just copy pasted that curl command and let's see what happens. It's now 10.48. Okay, I get back a task ID, which is what's expected if it ran successfully. Let's go back to um, the Butler logs and Sure enough, we have another call into the API, and the QMC also updated to 1048. So that also went well. And that was the first part using the REST API. Let's go ahead and look at an MQTT client. This is called, uh, it's called MQTT Explorer. There are many different MQTT uh, clients for both uh, Mac and Windows and Linux. Um, most of them are in fact cross-platform. So let's see here. Um, we will, looking at the MQTT configuration of Butler, uh, we might want to take a look at the uh, config file. In the last version of Butler, there are a couple of new topics, or rather config settings. One is called task start topic and MQTT config, and uh, this tells us this tells Butler where 
um, incoming request for starting tasks will appear on what MQTT topic. So in this case, it's click sense slash start task. And going back to the client here, we see that the topic we have is indeed that one. And the, uh, the body, the, the message we will publish is the task ID. So when we click publish here, this message will go off to the MQTT broker or server. Um, Butler subscribes to this very topic and we will receive a notification when the message arrives. And after that, it will start the task, hopefully. Let's try it. Let's make this a bit smaller. Oh, no, can't do that. Okay. Click in pub publish here. Something happened here. We see that um, MQTT starting task with ID, task ID. So that looks promising. And let's check in the QMC. And indeed, the reload happened again, 10.50 this time. And uh, that's pretty much what we expected. And with this, the demo is over. Hope you found it useful. Thank you.